Subscribe to the Desi Venture for reviews, recommendations of movies, TV series, and documentaries. Hit the bell icon so that you are updated whenever a new video is posted. So it's finally here, seven years after giving us the now cult classic Premium, Alphonse Putrin comes with his next film, Gold. Along with a star-studded lineup including Prithviraj and Nayantara. So does Gold live up to the hype? Is it able to meet or even surpass the humongous expectation that we all have from this film? Or is it as bad as the critics are making it out to be? Let's find out. Hi guys, just back from watching the new Malayalam film Gold in cinemas and this is what I thought about it. An unknown bolero with about 200 Bluetooth speakers is parked right in front of Joshi's house. Joshi, our protagonist, tries his best to get rid of it. First, by informing the local police, but they seem to have their own problems. Sir. Then, getting a mechanic friend to help him, but he seems to be less of a mechanic and more of a guilt tripper. You know, the kind who goes, uh, You bought a new phone, you didn't even tell me. You bought a new car, you didn't even tell me. While Joshi manages this, he realizes that things aren't what they seem to be. Ever so slowly, the real owners of the vehicle, as well as the reality of the so called Bluetooth speakers, comes out and when it does our hero now has to race against times to set things right that is about the best synopsis that i could come up with for this film uh, without giving away any major spoilers or plot points the first thing that uh, will strike you about gold is how unique and different the story and the setup is how typical alphonse putran it is this fact is further accentuated by the light-hearted treatment of the narrative and the novel editing choices Right from the first frame, you know that you're watching something authentic and different. So far, so good. The pacing is slow. You would think that it is deliberately slow. But the scenes are stretched out so much that it starts getting onto your nerves and testing your patience. I mean, do you really have to show each and every activity done by a protagonist? Like watching TV, carrying boxes, having tea, again and again, looking for a weighing machine, joking with his mom, finding a number on his phone, then dialing that number. There were so many times in the scene where I was so bored that I wished somebody would offer me those tea and snacks that Joshi's mother kept offering everyone. Ah. <sighs> you would think it's all going to be downhill from here. But then the pace picks up. New characters are introduced. Idea Shaji, Unni, Freddy Boss. The connections and the dynamics between these characters uh, does lend uh, a bit of fun element, uh, even though it is for a short time. My favorite of the lot was Idea Shaji, played with unabashed relish by Lalu Lex. Idea Shaji is a self-proclaimed legend. His ideas are said to have been so legendary that people of the town have given him the title of Idea Shaji. A story that this idiot tells himself and believes in. His interactions with Unni, played superbly by Tammy Tilagan, are perhaps the best part of this film. And with that ends whatever good that I have to say about this film. Gold uh, suffers from many problems. And I'm not talking about the kind of problems that uh, comes along with having a huge expectation from a film. No. Neither am I talking about logical problems. No. Heck, it's not even a problem of hyperindulgence. I mean, forget the pedigree, the logic, the other stuff. Just as a standalone three hour long movie, it fails. It's just too straight, simple, and flat, and not in a good way. There are some good ideas, uh, some funny situations, and a bunch of good characters. Could make a good YouTube short or even a mini episode. But not a freaking movie. Prithviraj, whom 80% of the screen time is dedicated to, puts in a sincere effort. But that central character itself is so underwritten. Why would someone go through all of this when in fact in the end he was all going to give it away? Why does he take that risk? Why is he called Danger Joshi? There's one scene in which uh, someone informs him that the girl he was looking forward to getting married to rejects him. You get a sense of, of real emotion, some real pain. But the camera nor the movie is really interested in capturing it. It doesn't even get a close-up. Instead, the whole focus is on what he will do and how he will get out of the situation. The why aspect of it can go take a hike. It feels like Alphonse Putran and his team started shooting the film without really fleshing out or even trying to double-click any of the ideas and the angles they wanted to explore. Like the Roshan Matthew angle or the Chemban Vinod angle. And what is Nayantara doing in this film? The ants and the butterflies in the film have more screen time and relevance. And was it Shobin Sahir who was there in the background while that dance was going on? This, this one? 
point in time I felt that is this kind of a practical joke that the director is playing on us, the audience? I mean, why would you show two Margony Wood business guys walking in and out of the police station in super slow motion when they have nothing to do with the story? I give up. I don't get it. Alphonse Putran, in his tweet uh, announcing the release of the film, stated that gold, just like Niram and Premam, is an imperfect film. Well, uh, Putran sir, this might be a little bit more imperfect than the others. So the final question, is it as bad as the critics are saying to be? Well, it is disappointing that one of the most awaited Malayalam films of the year is not great. But there is some aspect of the film which, which I really enjoyed and laughed out loud in the cinemas. Lalu Lek's voice reading out the anti-smoking disclaimer just before the film starts is definitely one of them. It is these little things that uh, prevent me from calling this movie an out and out bad film. And the reason for me to not give it a below average rating on the bench meter. All in all, gold just falls short of striking gold is the kind of catchy one-liner that I want to end this video with. You can catch gold in a theater near you. If you like this review, press that like button and share it with your family and friends. If you're new to this channel, consider subscribing. Bye-bye.